Thank you, Tim, for a great speech uh, and an engaging uh, Q&A. Uh, my name is Mark Baffa, and I'm an MBA candidate here at Rutgers Business School, and I'm also the last thing standing between you and lunch. So uh, I'm very grateful to have the chance to speak with you for a few very short minutes about Net Impact, which is the organization I'm uh, president of here at Rutgers. For those of you who are not familiar with uh, Net Impact, it's a 40,000 member strong organization of students and professionals who are dedicated to bringing about positive social and environmental change in their communities, their workplaces, and the world. There are 300 plus local chapters that focus on a diverse set of issues within CSR, sustainability, and social entrepreneurship. Our chapter at Rutgers is meant to be a resource for students during their time spent here at school. We accomplish this by hosting speakers, organizing fundraising events and volunteer, connecting students to case competitions, and serving as a link to the Net Impact National Chapter and its many resources. We frequently collaborate with other student organizations and RBS stakeholders, including the Institute for Ethical Leadership, in order to advance our common cause. When you stop to think about it, the net impact story is really quite incredible, and it, and it mirrors the overall success of CSR in the past few decades. What was once considered a distraction from profits, at best, and corporate mismanagement, at worst, is now an essential and integrated part of many major corporations. And on the campuses of the most prominent business schools throughout the world, net impact has played a large part in making CSR and sustainability mainstream. So where did these 40,000 members come from? For an increasing number of prospective MBA candidates, a university's engagement with CSR and ethical business is an important factor in selecting a school. I recently spoke with one of the co-founders of our Net Impact chapter, who said that when she was applying to schools, she was surprised to find out that Rutgers did not have a Net Impact chapter. So when she got here, she started one. When I was looking at schools myself, I noticed that Rutgers had an impact chapter and had established the Institute for Ethical Leadership. These were important signals to me that Rutgers, as an institution, was engaged with business beyond just the numbers. And just recently, a prospective student was put in contact with me as she wanted to know more about how Rutgers could help her achieve her career goal, which is to work directly in CSR for a major corporation. So, in some ways, my generation is rather spoiled, and I'm sure there are some parents here who can agree. <laughs> Our desire to have everything we want the way we want it can be a good thing, so long as what we want extends to causes beyond ourselves. As consumers, my peers have been pressing corporations to produce the goods and services that they want, but in a way that is beneficial to multiple stakeholders consumers, producers, investors, employees, and their communities. And as employees, we want to work for companies that make us feel proud about more than just our paycheck. I can say that my generation is indebted to the activists and idealists who forged a path for us over the last few decades. The corporate whistleblowers and environmental activists, the protesters and ethical business advocates, reshaped the CSR landscape through determination, creativity, and hard work. Today, thanks to these activists, and I'm sure there are many in this room, my generation has the opportunity to work with the business community instead of against it on CSR issues. As I said, you did all the hard work, I guess we are a bit spoiled. So one recurring thought comes to mind when I think about how much the landscape has changed for businesses in CSR, and that's consumer demand. A shopper who purchases sustainably sourced materials, a consumer who withholds support from an unethical business, or a prospective MBA student who searches for a more well-rounded business education, these are the drivers of CSR today. And in a competitive marketplace, they are ultimately the most powerful ones. Thankfully, we have the support of organizations like Net Impact, institutions like the IEL, businesses such as those in attendance here today, and activists such as yourself. It's a good place to be in. Thank you.